After taking care of those punks at Tong Gate, I realized that the land was divided into three between us, Liu Bei, and Sun Quan. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because our lord will be the last one standing. I guess Liu Bei isn't aware of this yet because the fool's coming to attack me at Mount Ding Jun. Ah, these guys are so hopeless. Show who you want, I'll teach that Liu Bei a thing or two. I'll make sure that this battle will be his last. Our forces will hereby engage Liu Bei at Mount Ding Jun. Since Mount Tiandang is already in their hands, this battle will determine who will ultimately control Guan Zhang. Xiao Yuan, you are in charge of defending Han Zhang. Liu Bei is sure to attack you at the main camp. I want you to hold him off. I expect you to live up to your namesake and prove your valor on the battlefield. If we win this battle, the land will be ours in no time. Excuse me, General, what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, just returning a greeting! Yeah! <laughs> Anytime, pal! So, shall we get started then? Stay put! Hold out until our master comes! <laughs> Any who stand in your way! So you must be looking for trouble. Missions left unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated! So this is to be my final battle. Enemy officer defeated!
Enemy officer defeated! It's not over yet! Sheesh! You're telling me! Looking for trouble. <laughs> so, this is to be my final battle. Enemy officer defeated! The blade of an expert warrior!
Oh! Such a magnificent entrance! Beautiful and talented. Not bad. You're just an amateur like all the rest. <laughs> Foolish child, did you think you were any match for the great Huang Zhong? Youngin! Ha! as old as you belong in combat! I failed to live up to my father. Enemy officer defeated! This is not a thing of beauty. I'm fully prepared to fight to the death! To die on the battlefield. Such good fortune. Enemy officer defeated! Sorry I'm late, Shaho Yuan. Good work, everyone. Now, for the counterattack. We will never give in to a scoundrel's rule. Attack without mercy. Shall we dance through the enemy camp? Our strength that shall quell the chaos. The enemy.
enemy formation is crumbling. Forward! Damn. It's over already. Enemy officer defeated! Go and attack the enemy camp! Left unfulfilled! Enemy officer defeated! You dare face the dragon of Cheng Shan? My journey? Enemy officer defeated! of the essence. Follow me! I shall avenge the death of my men! Beautiful and talented. Not bad. Defeated! We managed to come out on top in the Battle of Hanjar. Shahoyuan, 
You performed exceptionally well in this battle. I knew I could count on you to fight so bravely. The might of your bow weakened Shu and has also struck fear into Wu. Next, I ask that you set your sights on the whole land. I am certain that you can easily hit your target. A new bodyguard has this bodyguard. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Xiao Yuan was an expert in the martial arts, especially archery. He was also good at strategy, and known for his surprise attacks. It was said that he could move troops at an amazing speed, 500 leagues in three days and a thousand in six. He rushed to join his relatives Cao Cao and Shahu Dun when he heard they were raising an army. He contributed tremendously to Cao Cao's ambitions in expanding his territory. After advancing into the central plains, Cao Cao also decided to invade Hang Zhong, where he placed Shaho Yuan and Zhang He in charge of its defense. There, he successfully fought off Liu Bei's army, forcing Liu Bei himself to join the battle. In 219 AD, Liu Bei advanced his troops toward Mount Dingjun and the battle for the most important strategic location began. Xiao Yuan faced a life-threatening attack from the elderly Huang Zhang, who charged down on him from a nearby mountain. Xiao Yuan struggled against the devastating attack, but did not give up. Fighting off the attack as best he could, reinforcements sent by Cao Cao arrived just in time. The victory at this battle gave way enough momentum, and the land soon became theirs. In this new world of peace, Xiao Yuan would begin to live a new life, no longer marred by the chaos. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. So, Zheng He, you up for a little hunt? General, whether it's war or not, never put down your bow. I could never live with myself if I ever lost my touch. How disappointing that would be to all who've died by my arrows. <laughs> 